Hey everybody, it's Stuart here, and in today's video, we are going to show you how to build a negative keyword list using ChatGPT. This tutorial is going to save you a ton of time, and it will make you a more productive and efficient marketer and business owner. Now, in days gone by, when adding in negative keywords, it often had to be done word by word and line by line. Even if you had a saved list, you had to go and dig it up. However, using ChatGPT, you can simply enter in a prompt and that can then go on to create a negative keyword list for you. In this example, I'm going to show you the prompt which is simple and effective in generating a massive keyword list that you can then go through and start filtering out. We're running a Google Ads marketing campaign for a digital marketing ads agency. I want you to create the negative keyword list that is comprehensive and effective. Exclude overseas countries. Exclude the word free and similar words and exclude explicit language. And do not mention websites as I don't do that. Exclude SEO and graphic design as I don't do that either. Create a list of up to a thousand negative keywords. And the reason I say up to a thousand is because at account level, you can have a maximum of a thousand negative keywords at your account level. Now, once I have entered in that prompt, we are going to press enter. And what ChatGPT is now going to do is they're going to start incorporating all of those learnings into this information here. And what we can begin to see is that the keywords are slowly being generated to exclude all of the overseas countries, you know, and the big one which costs a lot of money for people who have not set up their Google Ads properly is for keywords that are around job seeking and employment. Now we can see here that it continues to go down further and further and further. And it has not quite generated a thousand negative keywords yet, but we are going to ask it to please create more negative keywords and now what that is going to do is it is going to continue adding in more negative keywords that are related um, to the ones which we don't want to be showing up on when it comes to actually creating that negative keywords list what you do once chat gpt has done it so let's just say right here we're happy with the keywords that have been created. We want to now go and highlight all of these negative keywords, start pasting in the keywords that ChatGPT has generated for us. So let's go and highlight all of the keywords which it has put together so far. And we are gonna put it into a Google Doc and what we can now begin to do is start having a look at all of the negative keywords that Google Ads has generated and start identifying whether we are happy with the keywords it has generated or if we want to exclude some negative keywords from the list which ChatGPT has generated. And once we are happy with it, we can simply go over to Google Ads and add in the negative keywords list. Being careful to remove any numbers and dots to make sure that our keyword list is as comprehensive as possible. So we can see here just from entering in a simple prompt and asking ChatGPT to expand further on the keyword generation that we have got a comprehensive list of negative keywords. That has not only saved us time, it has made us more productive and efficient and it has helped us launch our campaign in Google Ads a lot faster. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more videos like this using AI to become a more productive and efficient digital marketer, leave a comment down below with what AI tool you'd like us to use in the next tutorial video. Have a fantastic day, everybody.